Hey guys, before we get started, I've got an exciting announcement. The King of Random has been nominated for two Streamy Awards this year, including Best Show of the Year, but we haven't won yet. We need your help. So take 10 seconds, jump over to Twitter, and tweet the hashtag tkor 4 streamies That's all it takes to cast your vote. Just tweet tkor 4 streamies and with your help, we'll hopefully be up on the stage on September 26th. There's definitely something floating around there, but we're gonna drink it anyway. What's up guys, welcome back. I'm Grant Thompson, the King of Random. And I'm Matt Pat from Game Theory and Film Theory. We brought you back out to the ocean today because we're doing another experiment with ocean water. Absolutely, we are answering a comment from Craig Videos who asked if you could take seawater and turn it into actual drinkable water. That's right. So in this experiment, we're on the opposite end of the spectrum. Rather than taking the salt out of salt water, we're taking the water out of the salt water and trying to make it drinkable. So really cool experiment, Craig. We're doing this for you. Let's see if we can make it work. Let's go. So to help us with our experiment today, we got this little contraption off Amazon. This is basically like a wood-powered distillation apparatus. Have you ever heard of an electric distiller? I have not, actually. There are electric water distillers, but the reason I got this one is because it's actually powered by wood. Yeah, so you're doing it old school style? Wood, propane, exactly. So if uh, you know if there's an emergency and you can't get water anywhere, all you have to do is light a fire underneath, yeah. and you can theoretically take any water and it will vaporize it and then distill it where it collects back into the center. So for my like apocalypse bunker, this is a must-have. A must-have. And I'll put a link down in the description to where you can get it on Amazon. I'm not saying it's worth it. This was like 400 bucks. Whoa! Which I think is way too much. But I'll put a link down in the description in case you want to get one. Hashtag humble brag about how much you spent on this. <laughs> That's right. So our goal for today, head down to the ocean, get a big pitcher full of water, then bring it back to my place, throw it on the stove, see what we're able to cook up. Let's do it. Let's get to it. Let's do it. Woo. Bottoms up right. in a couple hours. We're going for a swim, guys. Oh, that's, that's way up in the pants. It's way up in the pants at this point. Oh, yeah, you're good, you're it. good, dude, you're good. good. What's it Miss Frizzle always says when you do science? Get messy, take chances. Make mistakes. Definitely got messy. That's good, man. Good thing this jacket's waterproof, I hope. Let's reel it in and see what we got. All right, there you go, sir. This guy is an animal. Hey, you gotta get water somehow, so. He just ran out there and he took it barefoot and this is what we've recovered. I think we got a little bit more than salt water in here. You can see a few other little things floating here, maybe a little bit of sand, uh, who knows what. But we're gonna take this back to the house now. We're gonna load up our little distillation device, set it on the stove for a few hours and see what we can get out. There you go. So let's go do that next. So here we are guys, we're back at the house. We have a stove top with a gas flame. We've got our seawater and now all we have to do is transfer all the seawater into the distiller crank up the heat and let it sit. That should be plenty. You can actually see like the organics. We got like some feathers floating around there, some other organic materials. This stainless steel mesh is gonna help suppress all that. And if everything starts bubbling, it's gonna keep it all down. There we go, just floats right on the top there. This is the tray here that will actually collect the water. And now this just sits down on top. Bada bing, bada boom. We place this little cap on top. This is to help vent volatile organic compounds, those things that are lighter than water. And then we simply fire it up. Now let's talk a bit about what's happening inside the pot here. As the water starts to boil, it turns into steam and the steam rises. And it goes into these condenser units here where it hits and then condenses into liquid and drips back down inside the system. Now we know that when water evaporates, it leaves everything behind. So theoretically, the water coming out of here in steam form should be relatively pure. And we can actually speed up the condensation by using something like ice or cold water on top of the plates. And then all we're gonna need is something like this cup or a bowl to put underneath the spout to collect all the fresh water that drips back out. Now we just have to sit back, give it a little bit of time, and let it boil. Hey, so finally some water is coming out of the spout and it looks to be fairly clear. And it's pouring out really quickly and consistently too. It is, this whole thing is really hot right now. You can see everything's steaming. The glass is steaming, the water is steaming. Everything is hot, steamy. Wow, man, well done. $400 well spent. All we have to do now is let this sit for about 30 minutes or so so we can collect a whole bowl full of this stuff. Great. And then we can let it cool down and give it a taste test. Yes. Mm. 
Guys, check it out. It has been about 15 minutes now, and you can see we've already filled this glass all the way full, and this thing is just cranking out, so I actually had to switch out to a larger bowl because we're getting more water a little bit faster than I expected. So check it out guys, this has been running for about 35 minutes. Now we've filled up an entire bowl with water here. I'm not quite sure how it tastes yet, so we're gonna take it off, let it cool down for about 10 or 15 minutes, and then give it the taste test. In the meantime, let me take this top off so you can look down inside and see what all that seawater looks like boiling away. You see how that screen mesh is kind of holding all the bubbles down, and there's quite a bit more water in there, which is fantastic. Huh. All right. So quick update guys, we just transferred all of our water into this pitcher for convenience. You can tell by the steam coming out of the top, it's still quite hot. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna stick this in the fridge, let it cool down a little bit, and then we'll do the taste okay. test. When it tastes a little bit more like pure crisp water. <laughs> as but. opposed to hot water. <laughs> as, as much as you probably enjoy drinking hot water, you know. You can make yourself a, a cup of tea. Yeah. All right, let's stick it in the fridge. All right, watch out for Stephanie's watermelon. How's that? Stephanie loves her watermelon. Perfect. All right, cool, good news. We put this thing in the freezer just to cool it down a little bit quicker. You can see it's getting frosty. Uh, the temperature of the water, it doesn't feel like super cold yet, mm -hmm. but it's definitely not hot anymore. There's so. definitely some stuff that looks like floating around in there. That's a good point. There are things floating around in there. Mmm, does the body good. <laughs> it's, it's just like orange juice. This is water pulp style. Pour oh, yourself good. a cuppa. Over the teeth, over the gums. Look out, stomach, here it comes. There we go. All right, bottoms up. Cheers, sir. Official taste test. Here we go. This is it. I taste absolutely zero salt. I taste zero salt. Zero salt. It does have some sort of aftertaste, though. Mm. It's not that's, salty at that's all. That's actually the taste of distilled water, because distilled water takes everything out of the water, so they actually add taste back into it. Really? They do. We actually have some distilled water we can measure against. Oh, that's a great idea. Uno momento, por favor. That's Spanish for, wait right here. Yeah, so this is official distilled water. This is from the store. It has a Best Buy date. Yeah, see this says it's uh, distilled water purified by steam distillation. Huh, okay. Filtered and ozonated. So it should be the same process. All right, bottoms up. Here's once again. Pinky up means it's fancy. Mm. You see you still get that same aftertaste? Yeah. Yeah, it it's, co it's colder though. It is. Ours is a little nice. bit wa warmer. Yeah. And I think warm water just doesn't taste as good. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> but as far as like the taste goes, the, I think say the taste is very comparable. It is, very similar. No salt, yeah, no sea no life. Salt. I'm actually impressed with how good the ocean water turned out. Mm. It's a completely viable solution in a post-apocalyptic world where clean water is not available to you. Would you like to have some more uh, processed ocean water? Please do. Time? Gotta stay hydrated. So, yep. The amount of water that I got out of the ocean for you, mm. how much how much pure water would that get you when it's all evaporated down? Oh gosh, I say most of it. Really? Yeah, so you're gonna be able it. to capture most of I'd it? I'd say you probably got a 98% recovery rate, maybe 97. Wow. Because in our experiment, we found that only 3% of the mass was actually salt. Yeah. So theoretically, the other 97% should be water. That's incredible. So I, I think- that's when you're able to capture all the, the vapor. If, if you collected a full bottle of ocean water, I would expect you'd almost recover a full bottle of distilled water. You know, it would just be a lot more drinkable, right? So if you have a lot of extra time on your hands, you can do it too. You challenge us to take seawater and make it drinkable. We did that. We did it! And I'm very excited. I hope you learned something new. Big thanks to Matt Pat for joining us for this experiment, for risking his safety to dive out to the depths of the ocean and rescue seawater for this experiment. Hey, it, it was touch and go there for a little bit. Hopefully I wasn't too salty for you oh today. My goodness. It was a pleasure doing this experiment with his, you guys. His link is down in the description below so you can go check him out. Give him some support. Random Nation Unite. Let's go show him some love. Big shout out to Craig Videos for suggesting the topic of today's video. Craig, you can go check your YouTube inbox. We are sending you 25 bucks. Cha-ching! Don't spend it all in one place. We'll be looking for you in the next video. Talk to you then. Check this out, 747. Whoa! Landing gear retracted. Door flaps eight. Oh, he's having flashbacks to his former life. 100% distilled pure water. We'll see. There's a lot in there. Go ahead and take a look, I dare you.
Oh, it's just off there. Oh, dude, oh, oh, watch out, watch okay. out, watch out. That's why you wear your safety shoes, your safety, safety red shoes. shoes. And not your, oh my gosh, I got wet at the beach and so let me take off my socks and shoes. Hey guys, quick reminder about the streaming awards. We've never been, but we'd love to win. So if you would take 10 seconds, jump over to Twitter and tweet the hashtag TKOR4Streamies. With your vote, there's a chance we could be up on the stage on September 26th.